just heard, and the item that's last on the program today, the Poolong, was an event that changed the history of the world. And I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about, the First World War. And unless you've been living in a media bubble, you'll be aware that we're coming up to the centenary of the Gallipoli landings. And the next little group of items is a just a tribute to um, acknowledging this significant anniversary, the centenary of those of the Gallipoli landings. And I'm very pleased to welcome um, a special friend of mine, Alison, who's going to be uh, singing for us today. And this is Alison's first appearance for the, the ACMS and Kirribilli. So we're going to start off with a piece called I Wonder.
official historian of the Gallipoli campaign was a person called Charles Bean. And Charles Bean famously stated that there were no songs on Gallipoli, that there was no concert party, that it was the one place on earth where he could not remember connecting with any tune or any song. And for a long time that's been our understanding of, of what happened at Gallipoli as far as music goes. However, in recent times, in the last um, eight to ten years, there's been a researcher in Canberra called Chris Latham. And Chris is a musician and a, a musicologist. And he's uncovered a lot of information um, from diaries and letters and, and reports um, that there was actually music at Gallipoli. I think all of us who, for whom music is important know that there is no, no aspect of life where music isn't isn't there and isn't important. And so we owe a great deal of debt, I think, to Chris to, um, for this research that he's done discovering this. He says that singing at night was a strong, innate mechanism on all sides to help the soldiers recover from the traumas of the day. And one of the songs that we know was actually played and sung at Gallipoli is the next song that Michael and I are going to play for you, and it's called Un peu d'amour. Um, this was first mentioned in a Turkish officer's letter from Gallipoli, which described an Australian trumpeter playing it in uh, the trenches at sunset. And the officer apparently knew Silesu's the tune from 1912 because it had been a pop hit of the day and he danced to it in Istanbul. It was a hit that had raced around the world and in English it was known as A Little Love, A Little Kiss. And Chris writes, it was a classic catchy tune. The melody's beauty was its predictability, making it instantaneously familiar. The first time you hear it, you liked it. The second time, you loved it. And I hope that you're going to love it after you've heard it tonight too. So, not content with just having found out this information, Chris then decided that he had to try and actually track down who this trumpeter was that had played at Gallipoli. And just recently, he made contact with um, the trumpeter's step-granddaughter, who still had the actual cornet, which is an instrument very similar to a trumpet, uh, between a bugle and a trumpet, um, who still had the actual instrument that, that her step-grandfather had played at Gallipoli. And this instrument has been donated to the Australian War Memorial and been restored. And quite coincidentally, today it is actually being played in a concert in Canberra. Um, by Paul Goodchild, who many of you may know as the uh, trumpet player in the Sydney Symphony Orchestra. So this, uh, this is the piece that that instrument played.